my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video that have valuable information and update. Oh, wrong channel. Sorry. Okay, guys. Well, if you ever have one of these Mazdas that all of a sudden you have a check engine light come on and some stuff stops working like your radio memory and your dome light and things like that, uh, there's usually a cause to that that's pretty simple, especially if you've been messing around with a stereo harness like this one's been messed around with. Anyway, that happened to this car. Um, I won't go into a long story on it, but when I got this car, I didn't make a video of it, but there was a wire running around from the positive battery terminal in here, right around the door jam. That's how you always do that, of course, to the radio up here harness that had this old junky uh, aftermarket radio in it. So I took that wire out. I don't do wires like that. I don't do that kind of stuff. So anyway, I took that out, got rid of it. And I noticed next time I drove the car, when I also had taken the radio out, that the check engine light was on. And when I went to use my code reader under here to hook that up to check the code on it, um, there's no power to it. So I got doing a little bit of research and it comes to find out on these that the uh, OBD2 port under the dash is, I think it's uh, right kind of under right there, I think. Uh, that thing is powered by a fuse and in this case on these it's a, called a room fuse and we'll get down here and look and see where that's at. Pull off the cover under here. There's your fuse box cover. More than one fuse box, but this is the one you want to be concerned with. And you look at your diagram, the diagram, to look at that and then look at here, it's upside down. But the one you're going to look for is uh, right there, right there in the center. So that one says room 10 amp. And in this case, you read the cover like this. So I have that fuse out now. It's one two, three, it's this one. That's the room fuse. And it's just a 10 amp. It had a blown 20 amp fuse in it. So when that fuse blows, that kills the LED 2 port and your radio memory and possibly some other stuff. So the culprit was, I thought, sure enough, I said, it's got to be something to do with this hat job on this radio harness. Sure enough, here it is. You see that little that's a blue wire with a red tracer on it right there. Give it a second for the camera to focus. That's it. That's your, that is your keep alive memory supply. In other words, that's what supplies your radio with uh, power when your key is off to keep the uh, memories preset in it and all that stuff. So that thing's bare and it's probably rubbed on something under there. And uh, they didn't have it hooked to that. They had it hooked. They had that wire coming here hooked to. So I guess I had the part of the harness that went into the radio. So stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. So what was happening was, I guess, maybe they did have it hooked to that. I don't know. But anyway, somehow it managed to backfeed power into here, into that to keep that check engine light off. Crime and me. I'll tell you what, I don't. I, don't, I hope I don't ever, you know, I've been through this so many times. I should be, I should be numb to it now. Hopefully one day I will be numb to it. But I, I hope I never find the guy that did all this because I'm going to kick his ass. That is, man, I'm not going to save anybody's feelings. This stuff like this is just an utter lack of any mechanical ability whatsoever and probably a pretty good lack of common sense. So there you have it. I said it. See ya.